the push by some companies to go back to the office full time is profoundly misguided. The remote work environment is conducive to increased productivity, better work life integration, and it is the future. My name is David Orban, and this is The Context. I'm in Nice uh, for a few days. Uh, I spoke at a conference uh, in uh, Monte Carlo and was invited to stay uh, until Sunday uh, when the Formula One races are uh, being held. The uh, accommodations in Monte Carlo are uh, crazy expensive at uh, three, four thousand euro per night. So I moved uh, to Nice uh, for uh, the two, three days uh, between the end of the conference and uh, the Formula One race. And uh, the opportunity, of course, is to uh, talk about how today uh, it is possible to work from anywhere in many, many occupations. Yes, if uh, um, you need to build widgets, uh, if you need to serve at a restaurant um, and some other occupations, of course, uh, require your physical presence at the place of work. But for all of us who work on our computers, we can work anywhere in the world. I think it is important for uh, companies to understand that people must be trusted to be passionate about what they do and as a consequence to be measured by the objectives that they reach. To pretend to control that someone is sitting at their desk in the office and work uh, as the middle manager uh, walks past uh, their back controlling that uh, uh, they are uh, at least pretending to be busy is uh, an Orwellian nightmare and it is totally unnecessary. Think about it in kind of a matrix. If the company doesn't trust you and you don't trust the company, that's the worst possible place. It is reciprocal suffering and dissatisfaction. Either you will be fired or hopefully you will leave and find another place. If the company doesn't trust you and you trust the company, uh, then your trust is not well placed. You will be exploited, uh, you will uh, suffer from an excessive degree of unnecessary control. If the company trusts you and you don't trust the company, well, uh, once again, it's time to change. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, their trust is uh, not well placed. Uh, it is a kind of a disloyal situation, right? And uh, it should not last. But the best place and the best combination is what you should aim for, where there is reciprocal, well-placed trust. And that is what uh, all of us should aim to achieve. That is what uh, should drive uh, our engagement uh, in such an important activity in our lives as uh, uh, the place of work. And once that uh, is achieved, really, uh, you can, as long as you have internet connectivity, you have your computer or your advanced tablet or phone, you can do uh, your work anywhere, at your own pace, uh, together uh, with your other members of the remote team 
using um, asynchronous communication, email, but also uh, chat systems like uh, Slack, managing everyone's uh, tasks on uh, Asana, the task management system, or any other similar tool. And then, of course, having periodic online meetings, maybe every day, uh, to make sure that uh, things that uh, could derail a project and lead to misunderstandings are clarified, everything is in sync, everyone is on the same page. So, I have been doing this for uh, more than 20 years. I haven't had an office for more than 20 years. Uh, the legal requirements are such that uh, the companies that I started or invested in would have a, a legal address, but uh, most of the times uh, there wouldn't be anyone there uh, and uh, the mail that uh, would arrive uh, is uh, opened, scanned, and forwarded to the uh, person then uh, taking a look at the scanned images to see who is uh, the person or the entity pretending to send a physical piece of mail uh, to your legal address. So the expectation that uh, with the uh, end of the pandemic, hopefully, uh, people should go back to the office after having uh, been able to work uh, from home or uh, wherever they wanted and having successfully done so uh, is uh, misguided backwards and uh, the companies that impose it should pay a penalty. There have been already some high level um, resignations. Uh, the head of uh, AI and machine learning at Apple left the company because he didn't want to go back uh, to the office. Imagine, uh, people uh, during uh, these couple of years uh, could have moved together with their family, bought a new house, and now uh, the company expects them to move back again so that they can commute one or two hours a day and uh, then work on their computers the same way that they would be working uh, from home. Uh, just doesn't make sense. So hopefully uh, you are already in a place where uh, remote first uh, or even remote only is the norm. And uh, if you are not, you insist to instill this kind of improvement uh, in your place of work. Uh, or uh, if you are in a management position, you uh, adopt it and you spread it in the organization as fast as possible. Those companies that uh, embrace uh, remote work and maintain it in their culture will reap uh, great benefits in terms of productivity, the satisfaction of uh, the team members, and the ability to hire the best talent worldwide.